two weeks since I changed the cotton in here. Let's take a look at it. See what it looks like. Again, this is on the Mutex Mutex 80 and uh, Cubis Max. Still get juice in it. Don't need to drain it to change the cotton. Get it off. Take the back piece off. And there you can see what that did to it. Now you can see it. So it's not too bad after two weeks. I've actually taken the cotton apart on coils that look worse than that after a week. And that is both sides. It's pretty well burnt through. It actually didn't taste bad, but you can definitely tell the flavor is off. Put a little bit of juice that was in there. Put the new little square that I already pre cut out of my own Japanese organic because the shit they send with it sucks. And I'm using a Philip Rock honey cream. Give it a little bit of juice. completely soak it. You just want enough in there so you can make it fit within that little frame that it's a little square that they that it fits into. And then it moved out. So I don't have it wet enough. A little more. Make sure you don't cover that metal piece. Right there. That's what makes contact on that coil or NFC film. The part that gets hot, it makes vapor. one thing I found that when you cut these you don't have to be perfect when you get it juiced up you can make it fit set that down and then the heater core you can't tip over because it's got juice in it just kind of wiping it that's what's what Joy takes so just wipe it off. You see, that's what I got off the coil. Those two spots. Start fresh with this corner. Get a little more off. Not much more I'm going to worry about. I'm going to find that notch. Line that up. Put the base cap on. I thought I'd a little bit of excess juice for my fingers. Page. Put it on our mod. I 
I'm just looking at this line. Check maybe I didn't get it on there right. And our first issue. Got the little ring on a little cockeyed. That's unscrewing from the main part of the tank, which we can't have. Suck the juice out. And then I'm going to go rinse this because I got it all off centered and I'll leak some juice. Unbeknownst to me, my camera shut off. So I'm not going to go through all that again. I did take a few pictures with my uh, camera, my other camera, as you can see. I took a couple still shots. I'll uh, add them right after this part. But anyway, got it all back together. I'm running at about 38 watts. It's not focusing. It's right about 3.06 volts. I know they say you can run it up to 40, should last three months. Found 38 actually did work for me once I got it broke in. And it works pretty damn good. Need to update, charge my battery, put a new one in it. Again, I just love that battery change. Just kick out that old one. Grab my freshly charged one, put her in. And then we got a, and then we put the new battery in. You see it's fully charged. You can also see the ohms went up to 0.26. Which fires for a second. We're still at 2.6. I don't know, fluctuates a little bit. And as you can see, there's no leakage. I know there's some people on uh, Instagram that asked about tank leakage. The only thing I can see here. Hit the button right when they're filling, I must be getting juice on top between the cap and the tank. And then when they close it, you see how that fill ring is a little loose, and that the juice is getting in between there, and then it leaks on me. That's my guess. I don't know. I usually wipe mine down just because I don't want a sticky mess. But again, no leakage. Thank you.